Let's just, I'm already late. Why don't we just jump right back in Disco Elysium, see what we were doing. Oven roasted? I was thinking oven. I've heard popcorn machines are uh, a good way to go. We have like a stovetop popcorn maker. You just, it's got a little stir on the inside, you know? Hey, miso. Oh. Being so sweet. Okay. I'll actually play the game now, I promise. Hank Horton. Oh no. All right, what were we doing? Oh, I, I know one thing that I wanted to do. Let's go back, let's go back and see Kuda, my favorite. Hank Horton Heat. Excuse me. We're going to go ahead. I've got a skill point. Let's put it in morale, I think, is the right one. How was the weekend? Weekend was... Eh. Does Kuhn okay? I, was, I was grumpy for a lot of it, honestly. Um, Put a skill point into empathy. Oh, okay. Let's put a skill point in... I thought it was morale. I'm glad I checked first. So apparently you need to back out and go back in first before that'll work. Fuck does Kuno care? It's not Kuno. It's Kuno S. Okay. Kuno S is by far the worst of the two. Kuno has no problem being near you, while the other hides behind the fence, afraid for her life. Like she's done something, something very bad. She came up with that psychopathic scheme of screaming for help before. Kuno just wanted to talk to you about his name. Kuno S was the one who wound him up and directed him. Interesting. Also, Kuno hasn't stopped talking to you, even enjoys it from time to time. When you talk to the other one, it's like talking to a cornered animal. She only hisses and says murder was the case that they gave her. All in all, Kuno respects madness. You cannot hope to outdo her on that front. You must win yourself a few minutes with him alone. Um... Try to separate them? You whispering about? He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. What you whispering about? If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper, okay? Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him. But be careful. You can still fuck this up. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. Just trying to control you. I think, uh... She's fucked up. She's not fucked up. Everyone's fucked up. Stop judging shit. Wrong move. Damn. But he's whispering still. You haven't lost him. Just don't mess up again. Or you will. There are no guarantees here. She's trying to control you or she's terrifying. That's the end. They hide shit down there sometimes. It's rude. I'm trying to think of how we would react. It's empathy. Let's go with two. Crazy. You don't know the half of it. Thank She's you. She's not crazy. She's insane. Dangerous. She smoked a man. She's done people in. Probably even pigs. 
I mean, I think I, one didn't seem judgy, but it seemed like he might get defensive about it. Like, oh, she can't control me, you know. Two seemed more empathetic. Stop talking to him. Kuno, I'm fucking warning you. You're going to get us into shit. She understands what you're trying to do. It's an illusion. Well, I mean, it works. Yo, see. Did Kuno I didn't want to mess up. You? Kuno told you. Kuno talks to whoever he wants. Talk, Pete. Kuno's got it under control. You did it. They're separated. He's even turned his back to mm. her, so she can't read his lips. Does she have anything to do with the dead man? She would have liked to fuck him up, but she didn't. Kuno wasn't around, and C was with Kuno. She's got an alibi. Where were you? Look, Kuno's gonna put you at ease. We didn't do it. What do you mean she smoked Kuno someone? Means she killed someone. That's right. She's a killer. Like, actually a killer. Isn't she too small? Getting this. You think I'm fucking telling you a joke here? How hard do you think it is to kill a fat ass? Sweet talk him, then knife him. She's probably killed a pig too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has. Forget Kuno said that. Kuno was just shitting. Kuno was just running his mouth. Kuno yeah, I figured. Like that. The creature peers at you both from over the fence. There is something searching in her eyes. Fear. Said she's insane. She's psycho. None of that kitty psycho, Captain and shit. She does the real deal. What's the real deal? It's not radio shit. <clears throat> Believe me, pig. You don't want to know. What's the language she oh, uses? No, she says it's the song of air people or some shit. Crazy people. The fucking nakis. I don't know. Some things are too awful to dwell on. The nakis and runkaris might be some kind of defense mechanism. Is she your sister? Oh, no, she's not my sister. She's just a stray who got in like a mad dog or some shit. Yeah, she was just there. What was that, Kuno? She was in the hallway, dripping wet by the fucking shoe rack in the dark. Why was she wet? Kuno's got no fucking idea. Her hair was all wet. I think she pissed on the floor too. She was there for three days in the corner. Every time Kuno went out. How'd she get in? Know. Someone left the door open. Kuno comes home and she's sleeping under the desk under a pile of clothes like a dog. What about your parents? Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit. Doesn't even see her there or thinks it's fucking Kuno. Shit's all on Kuno. Kuno? Kuno S, two of a kind. Why is she called Kuno S? She fucking looks like Kuno. You don't know no her name. No one knows her name. Kuno told you this shit was psycho killer. How are you dealing with How all this? Kuno dealing. Kuno's dealing just fine. He doesn't need you fucking with any of it. C doesn't either. Kuno's got this shit under control. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to believe him, but... What's up, Rockopotamus? I mean, I have, a f I have a feeling they don't exactly have great mental health services in Revishol. I don't know what I can do. For now, let's just no, say okay. It's not okay. You're voting See, one. It's Kuno's go-to. Kuno's protecting it. I want to say one, but like, me. you fuck with Kuno. It seems like an empty an comment, you know. Away. So yeah, he still thinks of her as a friend too. This is what it all comes down to. He needs you to take him seriously now. I am going to kill you. I'll run when you put the cuffs on her, sneak up on you later, and fuck you up. You understand? Aw, oh, Kuno's in love. He may not be able to do it, but he will try. 
Right now, he believes he will. Okay. Thought about buying this game. How's it been? Uh, it's quite good. Just know that there are only Twitch integrations on the PC version. Just a little annoying. You're thinking about which version to get if you were going to stream it. But the story is interesting. The character development is great. The art style is awesome. Yeah, very solid. Um, understood. All right, now we can do business. Yeah, business. If you want, Kuno can hook you up with. Got my business socks on. Oh, don't look him up with shit, Kuno. <laughs> See, relax. He respects the Kuno. Kuno made him respect the Kuno. You respect the Kuno, you get all kinds of shit. Kuno's gonna get you hooked on illegal narcotics if you run a little errand for the Kuno. Get you hooked, pig. Get his hook in you. Then Kuno gonna get you hooking for more. Cash in big style. Hey, <laughs> cooker. That's right. <laughs> Kuno is a candy store for pigs now. Get ready to be rewarded. Well, now I can get narcotics from him. Cool. It doesn't cop out. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, Polyhydrate, thank you for the tw uh, 29 months, by the way. That was during the starting soon screen. Thank you, Polyhydrate. Thank you so much. Um, I don't think there's going to be Let's anything. All right, whatever. Let's talk about the illegal narcotics. Kuno and his dad are major suppliers. That's where Kuno gets his lightning on. Yeah, of course. Is, Kuno and his dad had a little falling out. Now junkies clawing at Kuno's door. Streets going mad. Kuno's got to throw his dirty popo man at it. Almost snuck it past me. Reminds me of the uh, all staff meeting I was in where I got skipped during introductions and I was so happy, but then somebody like four people down from me noticed and was like, did you, did you go? It's like, God damn it. <laughs> she seems very nice. She seems very nice, honestly. I don't, I don't want to shit talk her. You'd murder them with your mind. I don't mind. I don't mind talking. I just like when it like the way that it was going, I could see that it was going to go past me and I wanted to see if I could get away with it. Um Okay, okay. The Popo man is you. In there is Kuno's violent dad on steroids. Kuno's dad does steroids and speed. If you can take him, you can have half of the speed. Who's your dad? Kuno's dad is a fucking monster. He's the most violent man in Revishol. It sounds like he's, he's trying to get him in trouble. Single thing. He drinks too. Are you sure you can take on the most violent man in Revishol? Is it going to be Measurehead? In your condition. Um. Wait, failure? But that wasn't a check. I don't get it. Kuno's dad is a. Is that just because I don't even have the chance because I don't have enough endurance? That's probably what it is. I'm sure, my endurance is really low. Two, yeah. Um, how much material are we talking about? A baggy. But like in this vial. <laughs> okay. Uh all right. I've made up my mind. Okay. Here's what's gonna happen. Kuno's listening. Going in there, guns are blazing. I'm a narc. No. Lie. You need speed.
Um, I'm worried that, like, I don't want to tell him. I don't want Kuno to be worried that he's going to get in trouble. It runs checks all the time. Damn. Let's see what happens. Yeah, confiscate it for Kuno, and you can have half. Well, he doesn't seem to care. So. so half of a half is a quarter, right? We're probably talking about a quarter gram here. Kuno's violent dad's got Kuno's key, so you need to fuck your way in there. Go to the pier side, bang on the door till the cleaning gimp lets you in. That's how Kuno does it. Does it sound like C wants to be a good kid? No, not at all. Based on what Kuno says, but who knows how honest he is. go to room 12 and kick down the door police violence style that's what kuno does and then it's action time you're locked in the room with violent fuckheads i'm guessing his dad is tiny next time kuno sees you you better have his shit what the hell are you signing us up for here okay then okay kuno so we can go back to that door A hangman up there chilling. Yeah, that's kind of the whole thing. Um, there was a murder. Oh, it's also 6.30 p.m. now. This is the first time it's starting to finally get to be like night. I'm curious what's going to happen. Because I have a, what, $180 hotel tab and only $4.30 in my pocket. So I'm curious where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. one a sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance to the apartment the door rattles again but this time you hear an elderly woman's voice i mean so inside don't bang it on the door i'm not using any more strangers inside who am i speaking to I who i am is the police the police everyone knows please let stuff. me inside i'll go check the back door. knock the again rattle. don't bang it on the door the police <laughs> I'm not no, joking. Go check the backyard door. The door. Don't bang it on the <laughs> The per No. Go check the door. Don't bang it on the the per No. Go check the backyard door. Alright, whatever. <laughs> what smoker? Oh, it got zoomed in. I just went over to the dumpster. And it's locked. Oh, this guy been a week and now they show up you see a young man on a balcony nursing a oh cigarette. that's definitely not val then his eyes have been following you for a while not looking for any trouble officer no trouble for me i don't want to be seen talking to the gendarmerie if that's okay i just want to finish my cigarette it's the god of cigarettes and youth ask him if he's got anything to spare can I at least have a cigarette? Apologies, but this is my last one. He's lying. The God himself has denied you absolution. Toss that one down. Well, great. Now I'm stuck. I need to pick my absolution. absolution. I don't know that brand, but I'm pretty sure you can get Astra's at the Frit. I'm not sure that's a good idea. As you wish. I uh, really need to talk really to you. that important? Like a nervous cat. 
He keeps stealing looks at the neighboring windows. All right, but make it quick. Once I finish this cigarette, I have to run. I need to get inside. Help you. No, sorry, Jean. I didn't think so. I have to run. Tell me my your name. name. My name is Martin Martinez. That sounds made up. Martin Martinez. Good local name. Let's go with that. Tell me anything about the hanging. I even go so far as to say that the view is a little too good, my dear gendarme. Do you have an estimate of when the body will be taken away? We will remove the body as soon as possible. Now tell us, where were you last Sunday? Oh. You already asked me that, didn't you? Did no, I? No, not you. Some more muscular type. And when did you speak to this more muscular gentleman? Measure head? Last week? I don't know. Look. You didn't answer the question. What were you doing last Sunday? <sighs> He's a little sketchy. I had a friend over. He was my Sunday friend. My Sunday friend. Hey, Sunday friend. How intriguing. Makes sense. Friends are nice on Sunday. You don't have to work. You can just spend time with pals, watching rugby and drinking beer. What's his real name? He doesn't reply. Gesturing, no, with his cigarette. Under the gray sky, snow continues to pile on the neighboring window sills. Someone hides behind a curtain. Those windows have eyes, and those eyes are watching, spying on you three. All right, we'll no. talk later. We won't. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really need to get going. Convince him to stay. Oh, I tried bumming a cigarette. God damn it. Time to bring out your secret charm. Fuck. Tears and beg him. Show him your emotional side. Throw yourself <laughs> I'll stop before drinking. I'll take the trash out. Trash? Please don't go. I'll even stop smoking inside. Listen, I really have to go. Good luck with the investigation. Bye, I'll miss you. He's gone. Run right after no him. Point in running. Tenements like these often have multiple exits. If he doesn't want to talk to us, then he'll know how to hide himself. So we just give he up? could be a witness. Him or his Sunday friend. Either way, we need to look into that muscular type who's asking about our case. There has to be a way of getting inside the building. Let's go check out the door near the pier again. Once we've found a way in, we can ask around for his apartment. I mean, this is locked. There must be another way into the building. Why? Why did it do that? Jump scare? I have me all paranoid about hidden options. It, it does. A sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance. This could be a way into the apartment building the smoking man vanished into. Good. We had enough problems with bums and drunks and thieves loitering in the hallway. You have no business here. You're well versed in if I failed that, I was going to go back to bed. That implies criminal liability, but in fact has no meaning whatsoever. Enduring a police matter. I know my rights, and don't you mom me, boy. Miss, would it help if we offer to show you our badges? Hold your horses. XCOM look. I don't care about your stinking badge. Just clean. <laughs> now she's just like, whatever. Give me a moment. The cold never does any good for my bronchitis. <laughs> Should I call a doctor? Oh, fine. Fine. Don't you worry about me. <laughs> You're still worried. It's very worrying. Now, 
What do you want from me, policeman? Um, let's start with just questions about the Ask apartment. Away, policeman. Uh, Cindy? Who the fuck is Cindy? The RT. Oh, her, that's right. Nothing I can do about her, I'm afraid. She ruins the walls faster than I can clean them. Still, she leaves an old lady to her business. More than I can say for others. A bunch of bananas, it's a bag. I'm using to collect of a uh, bottles and cans so I can get money. <laughs> into her handkerchief. Uh, the parents of a kid the named Kuno. Are at the end of this hallway, right next to the communal bathroom. What about Martin? Oh, you'll find plenty of Martins here. Don't you worry. Yeah, he gave me a fake name. Key brain. Someone played a trick on you. Martin Martinez is a name for anyone who comes from Martinez. Like Jim Jambrock or Raoul Ravagel. Oops. You really didn't get the joke there. Whoops. I thought it was obvious. Anyway, officer, we don't have the witness's name. Well, you didn't need to add that part, Kim, but thank you. Young male in his mid-twenties, dark hair, skinny build. Yes, yes. I know who you mean. The scrawny boy who's always smoking like the devil, right? Somewhere in the building, a child starts crying. You hear a radio tuned to a talk show and someone taking a shower. What's he in trouble for? No trouble. Talk? <laughs> he lives upstairs in room 28. Go to the balcony. It's one of those doors there. He's usually home in the evening. Thank you. We should go check out his apartment on the balcony. See if he's home. Let's see who she is first. I'm no one. Just an old woman who cleans these hallways. She's guilty. If you can call it living. I have a little Spits room. Spits on the floor upstairs, before wiping right it off with a broom. To the cold room. It's barely bigger than a closet. But I don't complain, no. I have my bed and my aching bones to keep me company. And that's all I need from this world. And all she gets, too. The coastal wind beats down hard on the cold room door outside. Splashes of waves make the balcony slippery. Okay. Right, I bought that figurine. A lot of tasks. Alright, hang on. Before we keep going through here, <clears throat> since Val reminded me about the bananas on my hip, I want to see how much these are worth. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? now 7 p.m. It goes back to the body. This is it? Hey, Gergs. The tear machine stands in the corner. Your bottles clunk into the machine. Dollar 20, all right. I'm rich. You know, what if... Hang on. I just had a thought. How do we take this? 
turn off this crop. Put on a new one. Zooming in. Enhance. Oh. I've never seen it rotate like that before. Oh my god, how do I get it back? Dude. <laughs> What the hell grip did I use? Can I undo? There we go. We'll just go right over. There we go. It seems like a better place for my cam. Look at me. I'm Dick Mullen. Foreclosed by Martinez Realty Associates. I need more off the bottom here. Perfect. I like that. Torn down the wall. A shift in temperature. The air chills around you. Dust settles on the stony floor. A former architect stands before a slice of window, a room plan in her hand. A cold wave has made the air in the building stand still and frozen, with temperatures falling down to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Huh? Her face is red from the cold. She's breathing on her fingers, clasping the plan. Traces of sadness are visible in her expression. The plan. Faint pencil lines on paper depict the same place, but a missing eastern wall connects the room with the neighboring apartment. Ideas for arranging the furniture have been jotted down. It's clean and empty with new tapestry embellishing the walls. A standard HB graphite pencil has fallen off a three-legged stool in the middle of the room. Is this like uh, Breath of the Wild? I found a memory location. Yeah, I'm stealing the money. An old grocery list and checks. Can I cash them? I'm desperate here. Apartment eights. Hey, people just leave money sitting around. Number nine. Oh, I found a postcard. You hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The number on the panel says 10. Sure, let's just knock around. Walking stops abruptly, but no one comes to the door. You can feel tension on the other side. A poor communard from the looks of it. The room is barely bigger than a closet. That's, that doesn't match what that says. Okay. Do I have to open the door? Do you have a warrant? I'm not obligated to open the door if you don't have a warrant. But we don't want to search Let's it. Go. We don't have a reason to get inside that apartment. This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk drawn number on the board says number We're looking 11. for 12, I think. 
It's a solid lump of metal, but the shackle is deeply corroded. A solid pair of chain cutters would make short work of it. Kim has a chain cutter. No nah. reply. Why would we want to break into some random citizen's apartment? Why would you not want to? Oh, it's literally an option. The lieutenant looks at you for a long moment, then blinks once. I suppose if one were committed to it, there's a pair of chain cutters in the kinema. I don't have a reason to go in there yet, but it's good to know. A shabby door hangs oddly on its hinges, secured to the doorframe with a safety chain. <clears throat> An unpaid energy bill is attached, threatening to cut off the electricity. It's addressed to Mr. Uno Doroita. So Kuno's dad is named Uno? Your heartbeat quickens. Palms go sweaty. The siren of amphetamine is singing you her song. It's like we found where Kuno's and dad lives. comes with three months worth of utility bills. No response. The door is locked by a chain. If only you had some kind of standard police device for the cutting of chains. Something, perhaps, that could be found in an RCM motor carriage. I don't think there's going to be anything here. Oh, it just opens. Slime? Ew. Alright, let's head back to the police car. That goes to the balcony. We don't want to go there yet. Okay, so that door is unlocked now, it looks like. We talk to C. See if there's any new options there. Try to sneak up on me again. Nothing. Communal bathroom since the dorms. Yeah. Never a good situation. I remember the the kid who lived across the hall from us, sophomore and junior year, was really annoying. He was like finance major or something. Um, he was the guy that would like always come over to keep us down, keep uh, tell us to keep it down. It was like one of the first nights he came over and was like, uh. You know, I'm gonna be throwing some parties too in my play. You know, whatever. But like, I just if you my bed's right next to the wall and whatever. And Inside, we're like, all right, guy. Like, I don't think we were even doing anything. A microphone, a pull-out toolbox. Um. The soft glow of the fuel, a metallic toolbox. Take the chain cutters. Long and push push it in. Box. Close the door. All right, we got the chain cutters. Um, which was, which is fine. Like, he has, you know, every right to do that. Like, there were certainly times when we were, like, being too loud that he would knock on that. But there was one time where we were just doing homework and talking. And it's like, fuck you, guy. Like, I'm gonna do homework with, you know, my classmates in my room if I want to. But, like, virtually every morning, I would go in there to take a shower into the bathroom. And the lights would be off, and I'd turn the lights on. And he would be in the stall. And I would just hear him go, eh. When I turn the lights on. <laughs> he was not a morning person, I don't think. Ben Shapiro voice is the default annoying guy. Just hear pooping in the dark. Yep. I didn't even particularly want the lights on at that point, but like... Um, knowing that it annoyed him, I turned him on every morning. A shabby door hangs oddly on its hinges, secured to the door. Tool not in hand. Well then, all right, let's put it in the my in my hand, I guess. Oops. There. Oh, I should have tried it without it. A shabby door hangs oddly on its hinges, secured to the door frame. Snip. The cutter goes through them like dead leaves. The See a couple of nudes. Have a good one. The ground on the other side of the door. Don't let the quiet fool you. I know there's no stopping you. 
but let's at least make this quick. Just in case. Glossy erotica? Wrinkled from moisture? A phone book oh, he's asleep. On the table, covering a stack of utility bills. Right next to it, in plain sight, sits a small bottle of amphetamine, conveniently equipped with a straw. I've located psychoactive substances. The minuscule amount of amphetamine doesn't interest the lieutenant in the slightest. He listens instead to something in the other room. Hi, sleepy kitty. You pocket the bottle as if it were the most natural thing in the world. Don't wait. Celebrate. Blast that mm. shit right here. Take inventory of it once this boring table shit is done. Blast it before you face the beast, De Ruita. You're going to need the encouragement. I'd rather not. Oh, I have to find my badge. That's right. The air stinks with something sour. Do I take his pants? <laughs> I'm going to steal his pants. Hang on. Uh, what was I going to do? Uh, oh, yeah. Let's take the bolt cutters out of my hand so I've you know have some plausible de deniability that I didn't open cut open his lock a bundle of clothes heaped on the bed a stained parka some towels and a duvet some socks even mm -hmm. something underneath there is breathing yeah and snoring it doesn't give a shit that you're a cop stop your hand now, or you're gonna die. Hey, Red Ink. Good morning. It's not too late. No one's going to blame you for backing out. You don't have to do this. Just get out. I mean, I want to see what happens. Your hand touches a greasy duvet covered in cigarette burns and ketchup stains. You hear a growl. There is something alive underneath it. Pull the blanket you off. See a 60 year old, fat, red headed man passed out from large amounts of alcohol and God knows what else. The smell of shit rises from his mouth. You don't have to take him down. He's already down. <laughs> Whisper, I took your old amphetamine. Uh, maybe we what should help him? Do? We could turn him on his side so he doesn't choke on his own vomit, but he's already on his side. Excellent form. We could form. take him to Remedy or Saint Baptiste. But he doesn't have money for medical services. The arm sauce would turn him down. They don't do charity for people who are trying to kill themselves. Besides, he'll be dead in a few. The pile of blankets grunts miserably. Ooh, it can't be retried. All right, let's try. The man groans once again, but his tongue keeps failing him. Morning, Aaron. It's impossible to make out the syllables. A hand emerges from the blankets, trying to gesticulate something. Oh, congrats on the raise, Gergs. GG. And then it dawns upon you, clear and surreal. Pigs, he says. He's trying to call you pigs. His hand falls back on the bed, limp and defeated. A loud snore escapes his mouth. He's asleep again. At least he got to say his piece. <laughs> Start in the day, Miso. Can't see him, I guess, with the tiny cam, but... Is this Kuno's father? 
Judging by the color of his hair, I would say yes, it is. The lieutenant's right. The man's unwashed hair bears a familiar ginger tone. Even the hair on his chest is coppery. The light from the window falls into his half-open eyes. There's still plenty to be scared of here. Just not what you thought. Doesn't look like he's gonna fuck anyone up anytime no, soon. Doesn't. This looks very hard to recover from. This man won't be feeding his family anytime soon. Not that he was, but... At least he won't be beating his son. A pair of half-open bug eyes is staring back at you from the dark, empty, and frozen. It's clear that the person behind them is a picture not of me, so That's a good idea. If I had one readily available, I would do it. Serious damage. Wait, eyes. Can you tell? It happens to exceptionally committed substance abusers. They fall asleep with their eyelids still open. Not a pretty sight. Not sure he's oh not dead. God. dead. Look, he's trying to communicate. Is he even I'm alive? It is. Look, it moves. A groan rises from the man's throat, dry like a death rattle. He's trying to say something. I don't know if I should say that I took his amphetamine. No, I mean, I have it, but, like, locating it, and then, you know, it would take more time. I can I can prep that for tomorrow, see what it looks like. Mm. Silence. Only heat emanates from the sleeping body. I guess that's, like, the best outcome. <laughs> he wouldn't be too thrilled to learn you stole his stash. It was the last thing keeping him functional. All right, see you later, Val. All right, well. Oh, this is the bathroom, right? Flip up glasses. All right, I got to see those. Dude. The UI, the UI here kind of sucks. Plus one logic, but minus one to authority. Probably a narcomaniac. Um, whatever. I think they look good. What's my authority at? Four. All right, well, we can change that if we need to, right? Distant traffic. Yeah, night is something I'm a little worried about. Where'd that yellow one go? Okay, whatever. What's this? the door no not that door <laughs> this is the most frustrating part of this game I believe I'm now clipping into the wall my god he's a magician all that to find Rosemary Time at a cactus. This door is made of metal the and appears to be reinforced. Someone here really values their security. Number 28. This is where the cleaning lady said the smoker on the balcony lives. And he values the security. Let's see if anyone's home. No one answered. Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. Hey, but he's there. The best chance to catch him is in the evening. We should return tomorrow after we have finished with our day's work. How about 9 p.m.? Sound good? Tomorrow at 9 p.m.?
Okay. Tomorrow, 9 p.m., right here. Apartment number 28. Good, let's go. Damn. Turns out it's quite tricky finding someone in a big apartment building. Don't worry. You'll get him. Remember, tomorrow, he's probably... I don't think he's gone at all. We just saw him go back to his apartment. You know, do I have any clothes that will... Normal day for a normal guy. What do my pants do? Plus one to electrochemistry, minus one to savoir faire. Ugh, I could improve my composure. The electrochemistry bonus is nice. I feel like that's something that pops up in, uh, a lot. My composure at. I have zero savoir faire. Wow. Alright, why don't we put on that guy's pants? These are piss soaked and cum stained, so yeah, maybe just regular black jeans are better. Looking good. Item descriptions are pretty great. Crunchy. <laughs> Okay, let's take a let's take a look at the at the tasks here. See where we're, see where we're at. Water lock on Wednesday. It's only Monday right now. A little girl in the fishing village down the coast. Oh, we could find that. Still have an access to the harbor. Need to find a bull. Need to find my badge. And ask about the tattoos. This will be devilishly tricky. Ooh, I haven't been to the okay. I can go back to Kuno. Spending a lot of time talking to Kuno today. There's a weird buzz. And I certainly don't want to give the kid drugs. You got Kuno's kilo. Here kilo. is how we do it. First, give Kuno Kuno's kilo. Then Kuno gives you half back. That's how we split it. It's the best way. Street way. <sighs> Aren't you going to ask how I got past your dad? You said your little friend in dressed as a hooker. Distraction style. That's some sick shit. Not a single muscle moves on the lieutenant's face. Kuno wants to hear all about it, but first we split the kilo, then we shoot the shit. The I'm not gonna make that decision. About? Kuno doesn't fucking care. All right. Let's head back to the hotel. I haven't talked to those people in a while. Oh, 
it's busy in here now. Did I just hear snoring again? some money behind a wall. Hello, Let's talk to the zookeeper's baby. wife. Cryptozoologist, rather. Sounds good. The man ponders his cooking utensils. Making like a vodka sauce. A nod, acknowledging your presence. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. You immediately feel drawn to the color. Blue is for mystery. Have I gone the to this door before? The surface feels rough to touch. No. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. Try to push the on door it? door does not budge. I wonder where it leads. It's a door in the back of the kitchen. <laughs> Why do you care where it leads? It's blue. It is quite pretty. I suppose we could look into it as a side investigation. Wow, Kim is easy to, uh... <clears throat> Easy to convince. Guard is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. Is that this guy? The man ponders no. his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod, acknowledging your presence. What's behind he the door? Looks up at you, then looks away quickly, shrugging and muttering something to himself. <laughs> shrugging is an international sign for no. I don't know what's behind that door. Okay. Can I help you? What thing? What's the blue oh, door? Yes, that door, sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. Well, it's a closed door that makes it mysterious. What's behind no, it? Oh, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for 10 years. It's just that frick warehouse, probably. Probably. He has no idea. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old. How have you never been in there? Dust. You're the cafeteria manager. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. You'd like to know. Fine, okay, a little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. So I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though, after the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck with that. What about the mess hall yes, union, blah, blah, blah? the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. He hates the union, but grudgingly recognizes its power over him. So he's directing his frustration at you instead. Retaliate. It's a shame you got to suck I up to the union. I'm simply providing a service, or really facilitating the offering of services to paying customers, and it doesn't matter. I don't have to explain myself to you. We should find out who this Lord Faction is occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative, and we need info. We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even men on strike. Yeah. You glance at the clock on the wall behind the manager. <clears throat> huh. It's after 16. Good question. 
they're probably getting drunk or protesting something somewhere or laying low after the, you know, lynching. Whatever he may feel about you, he can't miss the opportunity to throw you a look of what he assumes is sheer understanding. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The union guys think they're untouchable. They probably fucking killed that guy or something and now think they can hide out till it all blows over and it's fair weather again in Martinez. Hmm. I have a feeling we'll make their acquaintance sooner or later. Yeah. But... By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Okay. How about the money? Yes, have you got it? A lot. A lot lot. For the room, drinks, and broken window, 130 real. Like what? I will... Okay. There's still nobody here. Is that lady upstairs again? Maybe we can talk to her. The door is closed. Huh? There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. Ow. The door is closed. Wow. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm cleaning up my room a little bit, so I'm helping. I don't think I've looked at this window. The window stands broken in its frame. I have. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus. Oh my god, pick it up. That's a lot of bottles. I think I just made another dollar. Is there any in the bathroom? Okay, I think we're done here. <sighs> I feel like we should go down to... What was it? Here we go. The fishing village. It's raining. It was clear. Of course. There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, the harbor gates, some kind of com the harbor gates, some shops and a bridge. The can just coast. There's a little Oh, it's on the other side of the canal. Okay. So we can't get there until Wednesday, I think. That got closed down ages ago. Cuz they're going to fix the bridge, hopefully. Rows of stalls under a broad roof where silvery fish were heaped on the anything else? No Thank problem. you. She's very well composed. She probably she probably murdered the guy. Morning T Harris. How you doing? Looking for something odd. Don't we have to go um Eh, never mind.
the tear machines your bottles clunk hey into the there's a dollar told you money appears with I could buy a raincoat Anything else for me? How can I help you? Your race descent has only worsened since I last saw you. You have really let yourself go. Subscribe to his advanced race theory. Just try again. This is one of those things where the wise sage wants you to exhibit perseverance. That's understandable. Jean Luc God damn it. is a sage and an intellectual giant of race theory. We still need to get into the harbor. We need help with the tree situation. There must be another way. The whirling's roof. I mean, we went to the roof and there was nothing there, but all right, we can go back. Now there's something in my book, apparently. In the cafeteria's forgotten corners, find a way to the secret passage. Okay. Guess we're going back to the whirling. You're still gonna say nothing, right? The man ponders his cooking utensils. You see a heavy steel door with a prom. The door does not. Mm. That. Bunch of money. Let's see what Kim has to say. We haven't talked to Kim in yeah. a while. I want to talk about you. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Ah, uh, we'll work better together if we have more rapport. Mm, that's a fair point. All right. For the good of the invest, that's correct. That makes him a Bino Clark. Completely uncopped material, if you say so yourself. Glasses are cool. Are they? They are mostly just cumbersome. You could use a good, normal pair yourself. We got these awesome flip-up glasses. They're fine. You don't look like other That's people around I'm here. Life, all quarter. My father's father mm. was from Seoul. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. What is Seoul? It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it He doesn't want to talk about it. Um I want to know more. Working at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seoul life. I've never met either one of my grandparents. And I've never been to Seoul. I'm a regular of Evachelier. So he's like ashamed. He's glad to shut down your question. Tell me a secret about yourself. No. <laughs> Dude, as your brain sends the signal to your lips. Damn it. But they refuse the order. Something is paralyzing them. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. The eyebrow is exercising psionic control over you it's like you're locked down what's happening to me the matter detective this guy has got authority off the charts with just the flick of his eyebrow he's able to make you his thrall what can i do Nothing. about it you wow. better hope he doesn't abuse his authority there's a lot of it look at this stare off happening right now all right accept it the lieutenant relaxes his eyebrow and you seem to regain control of yourself. All right, that's all for now. Um,
Oh, I can talk to this guy now? You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Take all. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard through a PA system by other people, <laughs> whether they like it or not. Ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. I'm a down on my luck superstar person, Who sure. Is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline. Yes, sounds likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. What should I sing? You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You will wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Sing something happy. No, no. Don't sing the happy song. You have to find something tragic to sing first, though. Is this a timed thing? Sufficiently tragic tape. Okay. Ask the cafeteria manager to perform. All right. Sad song on tape. Where would I find a sad song on tape? <clears throat> uh, I could go to the pawn shop. I could go to... The corner store. Who are you? Stuck in the rain in a traffic jam, man. Oh, What's this guy. Alright. Find a teenager's room. Oh, that'd probably work. Oh, God. All right, let's save and call it here and accept that I need to face the day at some point. The Smiths are the cure. So you're thinking more classics. I was thinking like My Chemical Romance or something. All right, I'm going to call it here. I got to get to work to go sit through a stupid meeting. Uh, but thank you guys very much for hanging out today. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your Monday. I'll be back this afternoon. We'll do some more Breath of the Wild. We'll continue Disco Elysium tomorrow. You guys have a good one.